All right, I'm going to revisit diode testing because um, I was testing tubes, my little one tube tester, this little uh, Swinger 101 one tube amp, and uh, it uses 16LQ6. So I was testing uh, 6LQ6 tubes, been through quite a few. All those are tested, and all these are tested. And then I stuck this one in, and we had an arc. and. Um, it took something out and uh, took the fuse and I replaced the fuse it blew it again so I started testing stuff and I always say that um, normally in one of these old amps if you haven't changed the capacitors the capacitors are short and then take out the diodes but in this case the tube you know with testing this is like tube number 20 and I put it in and I saw the tube arc and uh, it shorted something out and it's got good capacitors they still tested good but I always say check your diodes check your diodes you know you got to short don't keep putting fuses in there or bigger fuses um, and on this one those four those diodes are blue kind of a bluish green if I can dial in there it uses uh, four of them in a voltage doubler configuration but don't worry about the configuration. It's just four diodes in there, four of them blue ones. And I got one uh, league with the alligator clipped. I got this one lifted up out of circuit. But normally you can test them in circuit. You don't even have to unsolder them if you can get a lead on there. But it tested for a short. See that? Dead short. And I can reverse the leads, which I'm not going to do. And the shorts are short, so if I reversed them, it would test the same thing. That dead short. That's a bad diode. And actually, all four of them went out at once. So all four of these diodes read like that, uh, a dead short on a diode. And right quick, I'm going to put my lead on this one. And a good diode, it shouldn't be a short either way. You should get some continuity one way. Hold still. I'm pulling the whole thing with me. All right. And I got it on this good diode, which I'm going to replace them with. And it reads about 0.5, which a good diode reads. You know, some might read 0.6. And, you know, a small one might read 0.3, 0.7. But anything like that, that's an open circuit. So if I reverse the leads on this one, which I'm not going to do, but um, if I reverse them, it would leave an open circuit. And the good way, it reads about 0.57. That's testing the diodes. And again, if you got a short, like originally in the, um, the start of this video, it's bad. Replace it or them. Also, I'm going to try to do a quick uh, test on a um, transistor. Here's a common transistor, 2N3904, you know, some amps use 2N2905s, 2N222As, and quite a few more common keying transistor. These go bad too. Sometimes they short, sometimes they open. But a quick and easy cheat test, you're not fully testing the transistor, but it's a kind of a cheat or a quick test, you can test a transistor like that for two diode junctions. So I'm going to hook um, that one there because I'm holding the camera in one hand and I'm not good with working this thing like chopsticks. And hook it from that left one to the center one. Oh, meter went dead. It times out after five minutes. You know, there. Okay, got the meter going, and hopefully we can show this one right quick. All right, hold still. All right, if you can see the meter's reading 0.7, which is good. That's one diode. There's no continuity. This meter, well, the continuity beeper isn't beeping because it doesn't start till 0.6 on this one. But 0.7 is good. I'm taking my lead off. Open circuit. Got my lead on there, 0 0.7. So that's one diode. And most of them, the two diodes are, the center would be the common. The center pin, usually, but not all the time, but in common. But you want to find two diodes. So I found one. 
from the uh, black lead on the left and to the red in the center. And since the center is usually the common, I'm going to use my move my black lead over to the uh, right side and connect it up. And if this one goes by what they normally do, if I go over here now to the um, center tap again, I got that 0.7 again. You know, as long as you're getting something like 0 0.9, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, you're good. You're in the ballpark. Now, if I took my leads and put it on any other junction and reverse and all that, I should get nothing, an open circuit, you know, like that. So you're just looking for two diode junctions in a transistor. Where are you? Any common transistor. Um, you look for two diode junctions like that. And it doesn't matter which transistor you're using. Just about all the uh, King transistors in um, sweep tube type linear amplifiers uses something similar to this. You know, 2N3904. Some of them have metal cans. The 2N2905s. Doesn't matter. You're still looking for two diodes. And the rest of it should read open. If the rest of them aren't reading open, it's got leakage in it. And if you find a short, it's done. So uh, that's a quick and easy cheat test to test common um, switching transistors like that. And on diodes, they usually short more than they open. Just like at the beginning of the video, dead short. And all four of mine there had got a dead short in it. So I'm going to replace them. So that's why we did this video. That's an update on the uh, diode testing and uh, how to test a uh, simple test a uh, transistor. Okay, that's it for this one. Bye.